Hi guys and welcome to Fallout 4 Mod Highlights. So the idea of this series is to take a short look at one of the many mods that have been released for the game, go over all the important details and any problems or issues you need to be aware of. Finally we go through how to install it. By the end of each video you will hopefully have a good idea as to whether the mod is something you want to add to your load order. As usual, just before we start today's video, please remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you enjoy what you see on the channel and want to show your support. So today's mod is Ghoul Mask by The Fried Turkey, who is part of the Fallout 4 Capital Wasteland mod team. For those of you who are unaware, the Fallout 4 Capital Wasteland mod is a large scale project where a group of modders are recreating Fallout 3 in the Fallout 4 engine. The last mod I covered was also by this author and there are plenty more mods to come from them. They even have a roadmap of all the mods they plan to release this month. So whilst the Capital Wasteland project is underway, they are kindly giving us tasters through mods. Anyway, let's take a look. So this is the Ghoul Mask, an item that could be obtained in Fallout 3. And not only does it look horrifying, it also has an added effect of making all feral ghouls ignore you, which is awesome. However, something to note is that feral ghouls will be friendly towards you unless you attack them, but also if you attack only one ghoul, the others will stay friendly. As well as coming with an awesome texture and cool effect, the mod actually has a mini quest to go with it, which I love. I think by having just a small quest of any size makes you feel like you're not cheating to get the item, and it makes the item become part of the world. Let's say you start a new playthrough, you wouldn't even notice it wasn't vanilla. So starting the quest is fairly simple, all you have to do is take down some ghouls and a few of them will have a feral ghoul skin fragment on them. When you pick up one of these fragments a quest called ghoul proof will start. The next step is to collect 10 skin fragments so go off and find some more ghouls until you get 10. One thing I liked about the quest was once it was completed the skin fragments no longer showed up on ghoul bodies which I thought was a good touch. So now that you have the 10 skin fragments, all you have to do is go to a chemistry bench and craft the item. You will find the ghoul mask in the utility section. Overall, I have to say this is another very impressive mod from the Capital Wasteland team. I came across no bugs or anything whilst playing. The mod is fairly simple, but at the same time it adds another unique item to the game with a practical use, especially if you have a subway mod installed as there tends to be loads of ghouls down there. So that's all the details, now let's get on to installation. So this mod is very simple to install, all you need to do is head to the mod page, the link is in the description, go to the file section and click either mod manager download or manual download. Obviously if you have a mod manager, click mod manager download and the installation is very simple, there are no extra options you have to select, it will just install into your game. If you are installing manually, obviously click this button and all you need to do is extract the contents of the archive into your Fallout 4 data folder. Anyway guys, that's about it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think of the mod in the comments below. Other than that, remember to subscribe and I shall see you in the next one. Okay, thanks guys. Bye, bye.